black round 313 back at it again you know why it's because this is therapeutic man back again with another video hence another therapy session welcome to another edition of the thought news network and i have some news So check this out. I haven't been on Tinder in a week or two, a couple of weeks, but I noticed when I go on there, there is a wide range and a lot of females between the ages of like maybe 20 and 24, even 25, who are looking for a sugar papa, trying to be sugar bay. And I noticed this phenomenon has occurred more and more at least in my life, being uh, an older guy, 40 plus, I think they see me as a big old red sucker. So I want to go and look for some articles to see how prevalent this phenomenon was and is to see if this thing is something that is becoming more and more popular. And of course, to my amazement, but not really to my amazement. I found out that this is an ever increasing trend. So I have a couple of articles to read about such. So here we go. Now this article is from news.com AU and I quote an 18 year old with seven sugar papas says she loves to dress up for them in exchange for cash and luxury gifts. College student, Valentina has a far more glamorous lifestyle than your average 18 year old. She was featured in a new BBC show called Secrets of Sugar Baby Dating. She says she gets thousands of dollars a month from her seven sugar papas, some of whom who are aged over 40. She claims that an average sugar babe can get about 5500 a month from one man so with seven on the go valentina is raking in up to eighty nine thousand dollars a month the son reported as well as all the money valentina who is studying fashion at college also has wardrobes packed with luxury goodies with the most expensive items being gifts from older men some items such as designer dresses she wears out for dinner dates and cocktails costing over a grand valentina states in quote when i see something i like i will gesture to him i will touch him on the shoulder make eye contact everything you do that's considered flirting she said i will make him associate shopping with intimate things because men are intimate creatures she explains while some of the men may be more than twice her age the 18 year old said she prefers older men quote i can never level with boys my age because their motives are different to mine she said they would rather sit home and play f-i-f-a i guess um that's a video game right her favorite sugar papa is 47 and she hopes to marry him when he retires. The show reveals despite seeing him only three or four times a month. She is aware that men like the fact that she is young. Quote, they don't want a woman who is going to come to them grumbling with problems with the stresses of her life, she says. They want a girl who injects youthfulness back in into their lives aside from her seven current sugar dads she dates men on a pay per meet basis for dinner and cocktails after which she calls it a night quote i ask for a sum of money for the date she says it cost all the effort i've put into getting glammed up for him 
Valentina met most of her sugar papas online. The BBC shows and goes on to explore how the website entices cash strapped students by claiming they could earn an average monthly allowance of $5,000 or more a month. It offers a free premium membership to those with university email addresses claiming they could avoid student debt and secure a better future. One student tells the show's presenter, Tiffany Sweeney, that it's tempting to join. She said she believes sugar dating has become more popular with students, partly due to social media, ding, 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 showing them glamorous lifestyles that others have closed, quote, from the article posted in news.com au titled an 18 year old with seven sugar papa says she loves to dress for them in exchange for cash and gifts interesting i have one more article before i get into a commentary and this article is written in the new york post title of the article is city teachers flood sugar daddy's site for extra income quote Hundreds of city teachers are boosting their incomes through lucrative liaisons with sugar papas, according to the dating website, which pairs attractive young people with the rich, typically older romantic partners. A total of 451 Big Apple teachers, mainly women, are engaged in extracurriculars with their sugar papas, according to the site. The majority hail from Brooklyn, where 206 of the sugar baby educators have sought connections. Another 83 call Manhattan home, while 74 live in the Bronx, 50 in the Queens, and 30 on Staten Island. And that's just not it. In the city that never sleeps, where teachers are taking on a second job of betting the wealthy. There are 1,489 sugar baby teachers. Living in the state overall, that's 14% of the total 10,000 seeking such an arrangement. The average age of an Empire State teacher on the site is 27, but the range spans from 22 to 56. Wait a minute. How can you be a 40, 50-year-old sugar babe? Oh, no. Anyway, back to the article. New York ranked number two behind California for total number of sugar baby teachers. Cheers. Texas and Florida came in third and fourth with 1,300 and 999 respectively, according to an Orlando weekly report. Goodness gracious. Now, wait. I thought the modern fee fell was strong and independent and didn't need no man, huh? Times must be getting rough. Could this be a sign of the thought apocalypse? They do need a man after all. But I find it interesting that there is so much money being spent by the simp on these types of arrangements. The thirst is definitely real. However, how a man spends his money is really none of my business. See, whether you're paying to play whether you're making her wifey or whether you're going out on dates it's always an energy and most of the time a monetary transaction and expenditure but through social media through the american cultural paradigm that we now live in due to her inherent solipsism due to the environment in which we live in the succubus, the rotten Chiquita banana, and the Ray Beat Snow Bunny, they're all looking for the bag. See, this noble idea that we as men hold in our head is that she's looking for love. No, Bubba, she's looking for the bag. And apparently, there are men out here with it that are willing to give it. And that's one thing about male nature. See, the truth is, A lot of men don't care anything about money. It's just a means to an end. And that end is to serve, to please, to procure, acquire, and deal with the fee fail. For many men, I would even say most men, 
That's their whole motivation in life. These are facts. This is life in the world that we now live. Black Wham just reporting some news and some findings. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification button so that you won't miss the Black Ram 313 video. In the description box are links to the PayPal, to the Patreon, the second channel, and to my email address. Do with those links as you will. And until next time, my brethren, stay well. This is Black Ram 313, and I'm out.